Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sergey, and I'm the owner of Tinovo Custom Jewelry. We make custom engagement rings and the wedding bands here in Los Angeles. And in today's video, I want to talk about the five most common mistakes that stops your engagement ring from being timeless. So let's get started. And the first mistake and the very common mistake is following the trends. Uh, some of the trends vary Hot. And very quickly, as you can imagine, the next line of uh, customers doesn't want to have those rings and those rings become very quickly outdated. So do not follow the trends unless those trends very well resonate with you. You don't really want to pay too much attention to those. You want to pay attention to your liking, first of all. And as an example, I want to mention the Halo engagement rings. They were extremely trendy in 2010, but at the same time, they got outdated a few years after. And right now, when you're looking at them, they do look outdated. So you don't want to do that with your engagement ring, especially if you want it to be timeless. And the next thing is neglecting the craftsmanship and the quality of the engagement ring production in general. For three reasons. First of all, if you want your engagement ring to be timeless, you want it to survive for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years or so. You want to make sure that the gallery not gonna fall, the, the prongs is durable enough, and the setting is actually durable enough, the alloy is good, the finishing is good, polishing is good, the design itself is actually proper. Like you want to make sure of all of those things. Second point is the actual design has to be made right and followed properly. In the previous section, I mentioned the halo engagement ring, for example. And you would be surprised, but it's very rare to see the properly made halo engagement ring. The halo itself has to be seamless. There is, should be no gap between the center stone and the halo stones around it. They also have to match perfectly in colors. It has to have the seamless effect. Nine out of 10 of them has the gaps, the different color of the stones, especially the one that bought from the shelf. So you want to make sure of that as well. And the third thing is the quality of the materials. Not only the gemstone itself, you want to make sure that the gemstone, whichever you choose, is the quality one. But you also want to make sure that the materials is going to last. And there is a lot of trendy materials right now for the wedding bands, for example, like turquoise and, and stuff like that. You don't want to use those freely. If you want this ring to be timeless, you want to stick with the gold or the platinum. Nothing really else. The third mistake that people quite often make is they overcomplicate their design. I've seen those engagement rings with lots of lines like that. It's going to outdate very quickly unless this line symbolizes something about your true love story or something about your partner or anything that is important for you. Don't use this overcomplication. At the same time, if you want to add them for some reason, Maybe you want to hide them. Maybe they should be on the back of the shank of the ring or anything like that. But do not overly complicate your engagement ring in the sake of complication. Usually those rings outdate very, very quickly. The fourth mistake is ignoring your personal style. And it's kind of correlated with the first point that I mentioned about the trendy things. Yes, you might want to go with a trendy engagement ring for the various of reasons. Maybe you just want to follow the trend but first of all you want to look at yourself you want to look at the style that you already developed by the time you receive the engagement ring you want to see what kind of clothes they're wearing when they're going out or they're wearing on a daily basis what kind of lifestyle they have and so forth and so on you want first of all to look at this not at the trends itself specifically i'm not saying you want to ignore it of course going all the way to the left or to the right it's not a best decisions most of the time but you want to stay somewhere in between and you want to make sure that you're looking at the things a little bit wider than sometimes advertising wants you to look at we came to the biggest and the most common mistake that you can do and prevent your engagement ring of being timeless is forgetting about the personal significance. What would do, you would do the ring for someone out there, but not for your love story and not for your specific unique 
partner. And because of that, it would not really connect. It's incredibly important to focus on your love story and on your partner specifically. I know as soon as you're gonna type engagement ring in a Google, you will start being bombarded with the advertising that would want you to learn about four C's and other things like that and pick the best stone out there. But the engagement ring is not really about that. It's not only about that. It's also about your specific love story your specific situation of what is going on what this friend is symbolizing where you met how you like spending time together it's all about that and it's all about incorporating those things those stories into that engagement ring so what i always recommend to do just sit down and completely focus on yourself what do you actually want to represent in those in this ring what this things is very specific to you and very important for you don't worry about the gemstones or anything just put the color blue next to the gemstone section worry about it later and if you just simply do that the rest of the things going to line up and this ring is really going to be timeless and as i mentioned in the previous videos i got this idea actually from my client because sometimes they would bring the rings their existing rings from the parents or grandparents but they would bring the ring and they would ask to clean it up and fix it and restore it maybe and they would keep wearing it because there is a huge story behind this ring there is a huge significance behind this ring so i highly recommend not just go and get the ring from the shelf out there unless it related to you and that's all of the mistake that i want to mention for this specific video i hope they were helpful and they're gonna help you to choose your unique engagement ring thank you again guys so much for watching uh, let me know if you have any questions so write them down in the comments i'll be happy to answer and i'll see you in the next video